Welcome back, everybody. We are out here with Dave Stahl and Clint August, the motorcycle money monkey. And I have just learned a new term for motorcycle, dual sport. I've never right. heard dual sport before. Well, it's off-road or on-road. Right. And who names their dog Floyd? <laughs> it's a boxing theme in her house. Oh. After Floyd Mayweather. Yes. Oh. Her other dog's named Rocky. Oh, okay, we got it. Got you it. were green. We're I'm riding. We're golden. <laughs> well, this, this, this is the type of bike. This is the newest thing in motorcycling. You know, all the manufacturers have got a dual sport because I think, what would you say Dakar had a lot to do with it? And some of these big, massive over European races? Well, I would say yes, but, but you know, the thing is you can call it dual sport, you can call it adventure bike. There right. are subtle differences between them, right. like the scramblers and things like that. Right. I would call this the adventure bike, especially because it is the Kawasaki KLR650 Adventure ABS with USB. This is important. This is a change they've made. Check this out. The newer model, 2022, they've actually, and, and KLR is a long line of, of very popular motorcycles for guys and gals. A little who like USB this. port. And, but think about this. You're off the grid. If you don't have a Garmin or a Spot GPS, right, and your phone goes dead, or you're filming like me for a YouTube channel, this is going to help you keep it charged. More importantly, your phone. Right, because you know you're just talking to the wrong guy. Well, because you stay on the road. I'm old school. <laughs> I know, I know. Who? I mean, back <laughs> when I ride, honestly, I don't even bring my phone. Okay, so I understand that. 100%. I understand that because there are guys, friends of mine, who will say that's a point of riding a motorcycle. <sighs> yes, it's getting you, away from it all. Totally agree. Okay, okay, all right. Which is why it's kind of cool too, though, that Kawasaki also kept it simple on the screen. Right. All it is on the screen is the uh, mileage, it's right. got the odometer, and it's got your time, and that's pretty much it. They it, kept it really yeah. simple in that regard. Now, it's got an 8.3 inch clearance from the ground, which is great for when you wanna go off the grid. Right. Plenty you know, of Nerf bars. Yeah, exactly. It's got all kinds of safety features. It's a 652 cc motor, weighs 487 pounds, and for me, this bike right here, for me personally, when you get up to about 75, 80 miles an hour, mm -hmm. you're, you're vibrating a little bit, but that's also because well, the, look at tires. the tires. Exactly. So you can make adjustments for that. Mm -hmm. But I would keep these tires on here for me to have the best of both worlds. I watched a video of a guy on Revzilla where he actually said that he took it bone dry on purpose just to see how far this 6.1 gallon tank could take him, because they also made a bigger tank. And it, he got 200, according to him, 285 miles. Now, I would never do that. I would never run it that dry. But I'm also a guy who hates stopping for gas. I'm lazy. I want to really? just ride. You don't want to just get off and stretch? and. Yes, but I don't want to have to pump gas. Oh. I just want to go. But Well, this... I want a quick disconnect tire and wheel package. Oh. So, well, because it's a dual sport, right? Yeah. So let me put street tires on, but it's got to be quick disconnect. I don't want to have to disassemble the bike. Think about it. Would you trust it? Sure. I mean, okay. if it was designed by the manufacturer, you know, a, a quick disconnect. Yeah, 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 they wouldn't put something out that, that wouldn't. Because how many people own dual sports that never hit the dirt? Okay, that's a good point, too. And that'll burn off tire tread quicker than anything riding asphalt with dirt tires. Now, I'm glad you, you brought up that up as well. If you're going to get this bike, you definitely want this bike for both worlds. Right. This is a crawler. This reminds me of an old Willys Jeep. It oh, takes really? you a little bit to get up there. It'll get you to freeway speed and keep you there for a long sure, time. Sure, sure. There's nothing wrong with taking this bike across the country. The suspension is super comfortable. It's like a sponge is over it the adjustable? bumps. Can you adjust it? Um, you can, but it's not like you're just going to do it quick. Right, you know, right, you're going right. to have to make adjustments as far as you know, having someone do it that knows what. Wide they're... handlebars. All remind me of beach bars. <clears throat> so if they look that way. If you were to hop on it, it doesn't feel that way. Okay. In fact, I like how you sit on this. You're very upright. Right. It is 34.3 inches off the ground. The seat, which is too tall for me, because I yeah. got the short legs, 29 inch inseam, and. This bike, though, back to the point of, of, of its usefulness, is that you would definitely want to take this off-road, whether it's you yeah. know, sand, dirt, bumps, right. rocks. This thing would probably, kidding of course, but climb a tree. That's what right. I was going to say. It reminds me of the old willies. Take you a while to get up to speed, but once you are there, man, this thing is killer. $7,999, Kawasaki.com, and I think this could be one of the best values on the road for the money. You should do an end-of-the-year report on your best, your top five bikes. Ooh. I know. Let's We're gonna do throw it. it. We'll throw it back to Floyd. <laughs> what am I 
dog's name, Dave. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> we do I, have a boxing theme. <laughs> hey, I got Roddy's five little Roddy puppies I that know, are, they're... I don't know, five weeks old, so we're trying to come up he with made, names. He's making fun of your dog's name. This is coming from a guy, a car guy named Stall. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and my dogs are all named after cars. Porsche, See, Tundra, Lexus. Yeah, what do you All got? right. Thanks, Dave Thanks, and Dave. Clint. See you guys.